Hi guys, welcome back to Will and March's channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly about having a dental bridge. And I also came up with five important things to consider before you install your bridge. Okay, so before we get started, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like this kind of video, make sure you hit that thumbs up uh, or thumbs down if you don't and give us a comment. And to those of you who just subscribe in our channel, thank you so much. We really appreciate it and it motivates me, motivates me. It really motivates us to upload and film more videos because of you guys. Thank you again. All right, let's get started. Around October of 2020, I decided to change my dental bridge because I believe that there's something wrong with it. So I talked to my dentist. For those who are new to this channel, let me just brief you uh, or summar give you a summary of what happened before I have this new bridge. October of 2020, I um, decided to change my bridge because I believe there's something wrong with it and I don't think that it'll last any longer. So I talked to my dentist. I told him that I am uh, having some issue with my dental bridge. And so he took a look at it and sure enough, there is something wrong with it because the way it's filled, it started to loosen up on both of my foundation or the where the bridge is holding. We did talk about it and then come November holiday, December holiday. So we didn't really start the process until the next year of 2021. And so there's a lot of things to consider. And so I decided to go ahead and, and do it. Um, I know that my I'm the right candidate for a bridge. I cannot have implants unless I really wanted to uh, spend that much money. And if I have a lot of money, why not, right? So I am a perfect candidate for a bridge. I, if you see my past video, um, I talked about bridge versus dentures and I don't know if I explained to you enough that it's so much better to have a bridge compared to dentures. My previous video, you see that my teeth looks like that. Uh, that's the very first video or very first bridge that I have. And then the second one is this one, which, well, the first one I wore for 14 years and the second one I wore for four years. And I can see, I can tell the difference of the way it's built um, and the way it looks on my face. The first one, I love how big it is. It looks more natural, but the only drawback of having big teeth is the fang that I had, the two, uh, two canines that I have looks fake or doesn't look natural because it looks so fat and big, but the rest looks more natural to me. I didn't have any problem smiling because I you know, couldn't really see how my gum looks like. And, and so I, I don't feel any, you know, discomfort about having the bridge, the first bridge. Um, I just decided to change it because I feel like it's, it's time because I've been wearing it for 14 years, which I could have probably wore it longer. I just probably need to have a deep cleaning, but I decided to change it to this one, which I should have not because it wasn't built correctly. It's not installed the way I want. I mean, it doesn't look right. It just looks so unnatural when I smile. You can see my gum line and the teeth and it just looks so unnatural. Plus, when the way it's built, it was protruding out more. So when I bite, there's no strength or leverage. Every time I bite, it kind of swings forward a little bit, getting loose. So sure enough, after I talked to uh, Dr. Wong, my dentist, um, last year or October 2020, it has a um, it has loosened up, so it re it's time to change it, and I'm quite excited because I know Dr. Wong will take care of me, and he did. So now I am wearing my new dent dentures, my new dental bridge for about a year, and let me tell you how it feels and all of that. Again, we're gonna talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, plus five things to consider before you install your bridge. The good side of having a dental bridge is you have the freedom to brush your teeth <laughs> and you don't have to take it off in front of your husband. Marsh, what are you doing in there? Uh, you put your false teeth in? <laughs> hey, I need to get in there. <laughs> no. Why? Oh, it's not in. Huh? No. I've seen you with 
with no false teeth. I can't eat the more. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I you don't have to worry about that of course you know it's unremovable it's it's only removable if you go to the dentist and they have to cut it and take it all out and then install a new one that's the good thing about it and it feels natural depends on how your dentist makes it or whoever made it for you uh, you have to talk to them how natural you want it to feel and and then I like the way it feels on me it's been a year I can take a bite on a hamburger or a corn cob and I don't feel scared that it'll come off you know because I know it's sturdy I know it's built right another thing is uh, when you smile when it's built right you know your gum line uh, the way mine is he put gums because I know after having how how old I was 14 year 14 years old when they took out four of my front teeth my gum started to recite or to shrink so he put gum on my bridge and you can't hardly tell the color is perfect I can do this and I don't feel embarrassed because of the fact that it looks it looks natural so this is really what I like about having the bridge and more yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to tell you guys how excited uh, how happy i am so anyway so that's the good part of having a bridge well the bad part of having a bridge is that you have to consider that a bridge has to have a foundation between uh, on both sides so you're gonna have to decide which teeth are you going to use uh how many teeth are you going to use so that that is a drawback of having a bridge compared to having an implant implant all you have to do is if you still have that bone or if you have a lot of money you can graft your gum first and then install and get the bone grow somehow <laughs> which terminology I'm not good in dental terminology but you can have a uh, implant built if you have a lot of budget for it and that's the only bad part about having a bridge you gotta give up some of your real teeth thinner they have to grind it to thin it up so the crown will fit so that's the bad part now the ugly part of having a bridge is um, after a few months of installing it actually weeks after installing it because we didn't talk about the materials the the first layer part because it's mixing with zirconia and uh, porcelain and because I grind my teeth and I haven't wore my um, I haven't gotten my uh, night guard there's a small chip it started to chip right in the beginning so I was like wait a minute um, this is gonna last long so I'm afraid that it won't because the fact that it's only been a few weeks I started to have chip on my front teeth or front tooth and of course I got panicky or I panicked and so I talked to Dr. Wong I told him what happened and um, he fixed it right away uh, although you can you can't notice it right now but my canine is not as pointy as it is or it was compared to this one because I that's the part where it chip and then I chip another part because I I took a bite of a um, crab leg <laughs> which you're not supposed to um, take a bite I mean it was like a tiny piece you know but I did it instead of just biting on the side I bit like right in the front which thank goodness it didn't break so that was that part which I consider is the ugly part of having a bridge but other than that overall I love my bridge I started to feel more comfortable after six months of wearing it and it feels more natural compared to my second teeth that or second dental bridge should I have so that was the good the bad and the ugly now let's consider the five things to know or important things to know before installing your dental bridge this is if you already decided and you're already a candidate of having a bridge you know you didn't you didn't choose implant you didn't choose dentures you already chose to have a bridge so the first one that we have to consider is the budget course you have to have the budget in order for you to have uh, a peaceful smooth installation of your bridge if you don't have a budget then you're gonna be cramming or 
gonna be in debt or you're gonna be worried if you don't have money so under budget of course you have to consider how many teeth you have that you wanted to use to support your bridge and how many teeth you have to have in order for well yeah the more teeth the more expensive the less teeth is of course less money to spend so that's what you need first you have to have a budget um, a lot of dentists um, uses insurance although your insurance might not cover everything on your bridge they might give you 1500 per year just like mine uh, and then if it's in network then they give you a discount or you know your insurance covered part of it so it's it's a very important thing you have to have is your budget before installing a bridge so number two you have to have uh, the right dentist so yeah you have a budget but then if your dentist is kind of crook and not not care about you then this whole thing is not going to be smooth sailing for you it, it will be it'll be a regretful thing for you to do if your dentist is not caring or doesn't care about you so you have to make sure you find the right dentist first and then talk to, to him about having your bridge so I think at this point when you decided to have a bridge you already found the right dentist right that's that's number two for me number three let's think uh, which I didn't really talk to him about the materials I assume that there's only one material to use and I don't know about that until like at the very end when it started to chip and they mix it up with zirconia and uh, porcelain which I found out zirconia is more dense more uh, hard it will not break but the look of it is not as natural as the porcelain so porcelain has like a little bit of transparency to it so a real teeth looks more transparent like a little bit of transparency than or a little bit of transparency it has a little bit of transparency than more on opaque so if you look at your teeth you, you can see a little bit light going through it that's more natural look than opaque so but zirconia um, it's it's good if you have it all in the back you know uh, the front again it's for you to choose if you wanted to, to have a more natural look so they have to mix in the porcelain or you want it to just to go all the way in zirconia you know and the color also zirconia has more opaque color than porcelain so that's uh, number three to consider before you have your bridge installed and then number four time time has a lot of um, factors into it uh, time I say if you're working you have to make sure you have the right scheduling with your employers uh, or employee employer time to travel if your dentist is far make sure you have the time to travel do you want it to travel that far to travel that close um, some of the dentists they can have their their your bridge ready in a couple of days or so sometimes the same day depends on what type of bridge you have um, and also how long will it take the process so mine it took longer because of the time and then he also built me uh, a couple of temporary bridge to make sure that I like the look of them. I, he made sure that this would work better before he installed a permanent. But I think some of, or some of the dentists out there, uh, they kind of know they built it right there in their um, office. And you just built, you know, you just fit it in and you don't have to spend that much time so um, that's that's number four on my list and that's something that you need to consider before you install your bridge and the last but not the least or the last but not the least <laughs> is hygiene do you have time to brush your teeth do you have time to, to make sure your bridge will last for a lifetime or not lifetime but longer longevity uh, make sure that you will have the time to clean to floss around it to go to your dentist regularly every six months you know 
If you don't have that, if you are already having issue with your hygiene, dental hygiene, I don't think you should have a bridge because the fact that it is important, uh, it's it's not time consuming. It's just it's just like your natural teeth. I'll, let me show you the video what I'm doing. I think I made a video. Not let me show you the video. I made a video on how to keep your bridge longer. So hopefully you'll watch that. It is important. So if you don't have that time, I don't think you should have a bridge installed. So uh, dentures probably will be better because you just have to soak it in the water and then you put it back into your mouth. I think those are the five things that's really important. Uh, if you have any other things that you think it is important, please comment in, down below uh, and then we can talk about it more. Um, and if you have any question or if you want me to uh, make another video about bridge, that will help you guys decide or will help you answer all of your questions out there make sure you let me know and i will try to do it for you i will try to film um or upload more videos i have so much videos out there that i need to upload uh, i just didn't have the time because i have you know i'm working full time hopefully uh youtube will be my full-time job soon <laughs> yeah that's that's my wishes my prayers so anyway if you have any other question, please comment below and I will put my um, helpful descriptions below um, what to choose, what material to choose and how much I think of, you know, and I also have a blog where I can put the link below. Where I talk about dentures and versus dental bridge. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful enough for you guys. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.